Guys, welcome back to Caesar 3. We are here on part 2 of Damascus where we are doing weapon blocks. Now we've started with some basic weapon blocks, a sword, a shield, a hammer and a kind of a hook. But this part I want to do something a bit more interesting and we need two blocks. Um, something for luxury blocks and something for housing. And I'm going to focus on the housing one first and... We've got Frostmourne as a suggestion, so we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. But besides that, we've had one of the best starts for any map so far, with tons of money coming in, so we shouldn't have any problems. But let's go ahead and get things started. Alright, here we are, back into Caesar 3. We've got our sword, our shield, our hammer, our hook. Now, I'm gonna slow the game down, because we have a lot of money. And Alder64 in chat, also known as Kenny, on Discord uh, sent, well shared, uh, uh, his own design for Frostmourne as a block design. Um, uh, so I have a photo of Frostmourne here and Kenny's design as well. So I'm going to be going between the two to see if I can actually get it functioning. Now, uh, the design that he showed me was... Uh, it, it's it's requires a bit more space than this. So we're gonna see if we can actually make this work. I'm gonna clear off these trees. And I kinda, I don't know if I want the sword to be stabbing into this native land, but uh, perhaps if I have the hilt or the handle come down through these rocks, I could have a bit more space to work with, right? That seems like it will actually be a good idea. Yeah, that, that'll be a good idea. We, we kind of strapped for space on this map, but if I could make it work, by the way, there's, there's two kind of distinct skills when it comes to building these blocks. And also, I want to explain the concept of these blocks and why I'm doing this series of silly block designs. Right? Um, firstly, the two skills is one, your skill in actually drawing in interesting blocks. That's one skill. The second skill is actually making it work. So, for example, drawing a sword block is one thing. Making it work as a functioning block is another sort of thing entirely, you know? These are simple blocks, they're basically rectangles with a few intersections, not the most efficient. This is just one loop actually, in an interesting shape. Um, so those are, those are easy, but when you get to complex block designs, like the animal blocks or the fruit blocks that we've done in the past, making them work and winning the map with them is, uh, is tricky. Now, the reason why I'm doing silly block designs is because Caesar III, Pharaoh, Zeus and Emperor has this whole culture of of, you know, being super efficient, being super sort of, uh, um, you know, no-nonsense sort of thing. And yeah, we have... Right, we have this much space. No-nonsense sort of thing. And it, it's uh, like, there's not, not a lot of room for experimentation. Not a lot of room for experimentation. Because, I know, there's, there's always a best way of doing things, but what I want to show is, even at high levels of play, like I play this at very hard difficulty, I'm playing through the whole campaign, even at high levels of play, you still have room for creativity and freedom and doing whatever you want to do, you know? Uh, so, that's, that's what I want to prove in this playthrough. Now, let's get some rough scales. If I'm coming up this way, I might just, you know, if I just sort of incorporate this, Ignore that that little hut there. So if I'm looking at Frostmorn, the handle. Let's say the handle is about this size, right? Let me bring up the photo of Frostmorn. Yeah, let's say the handle's about that size. Let's get some scales going. So it's got the first sort of guard, which is going to be about here, and that has sort of hooks coming down this way. Don't worry, this is not the final measurements or anything. This is just sort of guides. It's got sort of a, a ram skull here with sort of a, a center s triangle spike there, which will then have... The triangle spike might come up to about here, actually. Right? And then it's got some hooks coming up that way. Right? Which are slightly smaller, yeah. Now, this actually has double spikes, because this is a very spiky sword. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the sword's gonna come up all the way to... Like, if I just imagined the length of the sword. That looks about correct. Right? Yeah, that looks... Maybe it's a little longer. 
And then if I just clear off some of these roads and trees and stuff, we should have the room to draw what we need to draw. Okay, so I'm sure you can see that this is basically a sword. Right? And we're gonna have the handle have a few design elements down there. Okay. Actually, the blade looks a little too long. Let's shorten it a little bit to about that native hut. Bit Perfect, I think. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do that. Keep an eye on the native risk. Don't worry, I'll, I'll sort out the native risk later. Building roads does not upset them. Okay, so I probably shouldn't do this all in one go because it'll be very boring for you guys to watch me do this. But one thing I do want to get sort of settled is that Frostmourne does have this sort of um, skull in the middle. So I'm going to do the handle and the skull and we'll get those as functioning blocks first and then we'll build our way up to it. Now, if I did a bit of design here... And then I actually can sort of thin the blocks a bit. So it's got sort of like little design things on it, right? If I look at the photo. Uh, maybe that's, you know, at this scale that doesn't really communicate it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to have straps. You know, I'm going to increase the width of that. That is still in the middle, right? Yeah. And I'm going to just... It's kind of got some thick straps on it. So it's like that. Then there's like a little gap. And then it's got like things like that. Then there's a little gap. A little longer, actually. Yeah, that's gonna be the handle. And you know, let's taper off the end just so it looks a little bit more handle-like. <laughs> Maybe that's not too handle-like. Actually, the, bo the bottom is a bit bigger than the rest of it. But you know, we're, we're working on a, on a scale that's a little tricky to work with. So maybe I'll just simplify it a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now let's get this at working as a block. I know it looks silly, but we're gonna do it. Uh, we'll start with... You know, let's fill the middle up with houses. That will sort of make sense. Get the prefectures down. We're gonna need a lot of these because these roads are highly inefficient. We'll get some engineers post down as well. Okay. Block one down. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, getting food over here will be a little tricky. Over on this side, I'll have the majority of the housing on the blade so that we can actually be a little closer to the food. By the way, are there any food imports on this map? We can import wheat, but we'll probably need that for the luxury blocks. But right now, I just kind of want to remove this tent block here. Uh, by the way, any suggestions for other blocks, I would be happy to hear them. Hmm. Thinking of the food, yeah. We're, we're going to need to have some centralized distribution here. I think we can get it working. Yeah, let, let's get these people moved in. You know, and so much money. We can just plaza... Oh, it'll look good plaza up, right? <laughs> we'll plaza up when we're a bit more finalized. Uh, besides that, I'm trying to keep an eye on food supply for this block, which is a little tricky. You know, I kind of need a reservoir to come back here as well. Rats? Yeah, that sucks, but that's okay. Let's get a reservoir back there. Let's get these houses evolved, shall we? Let's uh, just have the aqueduct slip on through the back here. Okay. Then we can get some fountain access. There's 2,000 people. We're aiming for 6,000 people, by the way. Lance, Billhook, Halberd. 
When am I planning planning to do the slum city with palatial estates? Um, maybe not on this map, but we could get something going. Does that cover that? I think that covers. Oh, we need one more fountain. Here. There we go. That should cover everything. So now we can get rid of the. Wait, those houses. Ah, perfect. So now the hammer block has fountain access. Yes, okay. And what do they need? Basic educational facilities. Not a problem. Uh, let us just move. Hmm. Gotta move that. Let's move the engineer's post. It should still be fine. And have a second school right there. Because this school is not quite hitting all the houses down there. I'm not sure if I need this school though, now that we have school children there. Let's test it. Oh no, we totally still need it. Yeah, school, schools are horrible. <laughs> Local bathhouse, wait. Wait, do we have a bathhouse in this block? If we... Wait, 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 wait. Why aren't this... We don't have a bathhouse in this block, but um... Wait, don't... don't small casas... No, 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 wait, why aren't these evolving? Wait, it says small casa, but the visual has not updated. That's what's confusing me. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, that's a bit weird. Anyway, we do have the weapons to send off to Caesar here. Let's dispatch those. We can stop stockpiling them. And let's continue our military. More legionaries would be good to have. Yeah, the, you see that? It says small casa, but they don't look like small casas. I'm not sure if there's a problem with stuff here. Or, it's a glitch. It's a glitch, right? Yeah, it's a glitch, right? Sometimes the visual doesn't update. Well, hopefully that sorts itself out. Anyway, this area down here has moved in. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is having these farms send food down to here and then we can have, uh, you know, have a bunch of granaries here set to getting, bring all that food down here so we can feed Frostmourne. Now uh, that sounds a little scary if you played Warcraft, but <laughs> we're gonna feed Frostmourne. Hmm, does it update if you rotate the map? Good question. No. No, th those houses are just glitched. It's, uh, I don't know, it's fine. How's our employment, by the way? Unemployment of 9%? Can we, can we, like, get rid of a lot of this? 4%? I'm slowly sort of clearing this slums area as we go along, you know? Because that's just a horrible place to live and it's not a weapon block. Anyway, Frostmourne is looking somewhat decent. You know, let, let's do a bit more Frostmourne work here. Let, let's see how Aldor from chat did these handles. Well, he did it quite big, actually. Um, well, this sort of... does this sort of... I think Aldor's design is a little difficult for me to pull off, but... Uh, let's see, there is sort of horns that come down this way. But they sort of wrap around. Right? They sort of wrap around back into... Yeah, there's like a horn that comes out and then it wraps back around. So that actually looks correct. So then I'm gonna just symmetry it over on this side. Is that correct? That is not correct. There's the recent dispatch. So let's extend this block a little bit further down. 
Why, why am I so bad at getting this symmetrical? It seems so wrong. Is that correct? I think that's correct. Uh, yeah, and actually we don't have these road connections. The pawn's actually sort of... hooked back up that way. Then there's a skull here. Is that a ram skull? Oh, we're under attack. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I got I got this uh, on lockdown. Where are they coming from? Here? Yeah. Oh, Frostmourne. Okay, no worries. Yeah, we're gonna grab you two. We're gonna have to put a wall there. Otherwise, Frostmourne's gonna be in trouble. By the way, how are the gods feeling? Ooh. You know? That's probably a good thing. Let's get, uh... Some temples going, shall we? Yeah, let's... This... Let's just clear that off. Move the engineer's post there. Uh, Venus, Mars, Mercury, and Neptune. That'll get the gods happy again. Now let's deal with this invasion. Doesn't your legionnaires get armor bonus if they stay in square formation? I think so. Now who are these guys? Bast, Horemheb, Hathor? Okay. Now by the way, on the back of this, let's uh, just keep the legionnaires coming. You know, I'm just gonna pop them down. Six legionnaires, two javelins. Sounds good to me. There's the camels. Okay. You know, I really don't remember camels being in this game, but I guess they are. So I guess, yeah, they, I think they do... I'm not sure if they actually have armor bonus. I don't know the stats of, of this game, but... Yeah, I think we can take that. And I think we're gonna get here just in time. Oh, they fall quick! Look at that! Do Egyptians have, like, no armor on the... Do Egyptians, like, die really quickly? Oh, look at that! The legionnaires have their shields up. Very nice. Bye! You guys are gonna survive. Hyapatia, Amonhotep, and Sekhmet are escaping here. Okay, very good. This is a military map, but the military doesn't seem to be that difficult. Uh, probably because we maxed our trade from the start of the game and just have infinite money, yeah? Bless us as... well, they are practically naked. <laughs> yeah, they're not really wearing much in terms of armor, are they? <clears throat> Anyway, I wanted to get this ram... Oh, Royal Recurve Bow, is that what they're using? A bow... oh, you're talking about a bow block. You know, I could do a simple bow block, which probably would work a little better. A sim... yeah, I should totally have a bow and arrow. I should have it, like, over here somewhere, near this farmland. Get some decent housing down. Now, this, uh... This ram thing is a little difficult to... So you have that horn there. I'm gonna have to have like a triangle come out. The triangle needs to get to there, I think. Yeah. So it's gonna have like a staggered triangle thing coming up this way. There's that festival to Mars. Okay, so the triangle is gonna... Is that correct? That seems... Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So there's that triangle. Now the ram does have some kind of eyes here. I don't know... How do I... How do I portray... 
Oh, you know, that actually looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool, yeah. Would you look at that, that, that works. You know, we're working on a smaller scale, so we have to do what we can. Um, but this triangle still seems a little short, but I guess... Uh... Oh yeah, we do have the hooks coming down this way. You know, to represent the hooks, I'm just gonna do that. It'll be... It is... Instead of actually drawing this, the whole spike, I'm just gonna have like a symbol representative road. Right? Right? Look at that. That... that oh, I'm so happy with the eyes. Now, this triangle is like not... Not as long as I need it to be. But I don't think I can make it much longer than that. Now it does have... We do have like a, some spikes coming out this way. And I don't know if I can actually pull this off. But... Oh, it needs to be a bit thicker than that. And we sort of... Do that. Thicken that. We gotta soften this curve a little bit. This spike is actually rather straight, isn't it? Compared to the map, yeah. It's not actually that long. It's a little hook on the end. Okay, we're gonna go with that. And this is gonna come out this way. And it's... Oh, it... yeah, that's correct. <laughs> this is actually looking pretty cool, right? I don't know, you probably disagree, but... I think it's pretty cool. Hmm. Alright, next part of the sword down. Maybe slow down the game while you design? That's fine. We make money and things go okay. Uh, you know, let's... let's... 5% uh, unemployment. Okay, let, let's do a bow design. It'll be somewhat more practical. Oh, all these rocks in the way make it hard to draw things. <laughs> Says the nonsense governor of Caesar 3. Um, So yeah, we're gonna have granaries sort of set up along the, the base of the blade there. You know, let's uh... Are we actually stockpiling food here? We are! You know, that, that makes things a little bit more easy to work with. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Uh, move this aqueduct over. To do that. And I'm gonna have a gatehouse right here. No, oh, I hate how it does that. Clear this off. Gatehouse. There. And here, to hook up these two areas without messing anything up too much. And we can now go ahead and put down a market. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I need a gatehouse here as well. Mm, like that. Yeah, that, that works out really well without messing up the blocks. And we can just not move anything if we just have... I'm just going to use gatehouses to hook it. Guys, I hate that. There. Now that's all hooked up. We can now go ahead and put down a market right here. And we can start feeding this area. Look at that. We have a second market there. Just make sure we block this off. And we're gonna feed the... I mean, it's a long walk to that granary, you know? Perhaps it would make more sense if I... ...move the granary closer? We are still way overproducing olives, so if I put another granary here... ...set to... 
accepting fruits. That will solve our problem. Good, perfect, wonderful. That will actually work out very, very nicely. Look at that. All the fruit's gonna come down this way. We can feed this, no problem. Wonderful. We'll feed the shield block. That'll bring in more people. Uh, solving some of our problems. Look at that. Frostmourne, lower half done. Just the blade to go. Now I'm trying to figure out how to draw anything with all these rocks in the way. I suppose... I'll just clear this up. Clear off some of these trees. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like deforesting too much. It sort of ruins the effect of things. But if I just make it nice and clean. It would make more sense if I drew it this way. Right? So if I had, for example... We're gonna have it there. Not too close to the rocks. And. not correct. It's got to be symmetrical. Why can I not get this right? And the center is going to be there, right? Okay, that's fine. And this can be... <laughs> a bow and arrow block. Okay, let me just get this right. That is not entirely symmetrical, but... I'm really bad at it. I don't know. Why, why am I so bad at matching up things? Did I start this in the wrong spot? No, that's correct. And then one tile. Was it like that? Okay. And then like that. And then like that. That seems correct. And then we have something like that. But no, that that's entirely wrong. <laughs> it's like that. Than like that. It's a little sharper on this, I think. Okay. That's still wrong. Whatever, whatever. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna shift all this out a bit. <laughs> it's close enough, you know. And we can have nice, solid block of housing right here. Arrow isn't knocked. Look, it's symbolic, okay? <laughs> it's symbolic. Deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs> Look, I know I know the base of the arrow. Look, it's it's in it's in a rest position, okay? I'm i am not notched the arrow in it's just like a symbol of bow and arrow. Okay? Okay? Jeez. So demanding. <laughs> That's a huge arrow for that bow. Look, it's like it's a, it's a it's a super arrow. It's more, maybe it's more of a ballista. Good thing I took that art degree. Look, look fair by. <laughs> My art degree was not in Caesar three. <laughs> Looks more like a bolt. Look, it, it's whatever you want it to be. It's a projectile weapon of. You know how we had an ambiguous fruit wedge in the fruit block designs. This is an ambiguous projectile weapon. Okay, okay. 
And you know, let's let's water the ambiguous projectile weapon because we can. You know, what's the range on this? It's three, right? One, two, three. Look, these blocks are gonna be fantastic. Oh, we're gonna need another reservoir. Look, okay, so I I know something's on fire. Okay, not a problem. Let's just stop that. How are you on? Oh, jeez, yeah. We need like way more prefectures to keep this in check. Where are prefectures? Oh, they just keep walking up that way? Okay. No problem. Look. Look. It's fine. Look, if I just spam some prefectures around here, it'll be okay. Now, that's a lot of prefectures. That should do it. And we just squeeze in a couple engineers posts around here. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. Good. Now that reservoir doesn't quite reach as far as it needs to, so we're gonna need another one. Like here. So, let's get an aqueduct. in a way that looks kind of okay. Look back there, cut through. I always like aqueducts cutting through vegetation. Yeah, that looks nice. That will allow fountain access to be almost where it needs to be. I need this to be there, so two tiles up? It needs to be there? Okay, I can do that. Get out of the way. Oh, look at that graphical glitch. There we go, got it. Okay, fix that. There we go. Bow block is online. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Um, we probably should just spend our 10,000, you know, I'm just gonna guild up, plaza up the bow block, plaza it all up. Get those houses evolved, add like a single row of gardens behind these houses, very nice. And then we could actually have like, uh, hmm. Do I just gatehouse out of here? I'd probably just gatehouse out of here. Have a road. One, two, three. Just hook that up. Is that actually? Oh, there's a tree in the way. Okay, no problem. And that's a house there. So I actually want the road to extend out here for some housing. I'd probably need another house here for some efficiency. Let's clear this. Let's get some actual farms going. Make sure the spore block is as... Is anything burning down? You know, we just need more prefectures. Two more? Yeah. Because they're getting caught on the... On the... Uh, <laughs> the... What? What's it called? Fletching? Fletching? Is that fletching? Remove the slums now? Ah, yes. Good point. 10% unemployment. We can now clear off our temporary slum block, which we use to get past the uh, immigration glitch. And now... Where do I stick this? Can I put one right there? You know, let's feed this block with vegetables for a change. Also... Prefecture, Engineer's Post, Farms, Vegetables. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, and just for stability, I will just go ahead and put down.
good. Yeah, so we're probably not using that house right there, so let's cancel that. Let's put down a market right there, and a market right... Yep. And we will feed the bow block vegetables. And also, I'm kind of concerned here, yeah? so I'm gonna go ahead and put down a wall. Right here. Just in case. Good. I could po uh, what? put the post and the prefecture on the lake shore. I could put the prefecture. I could almost do that, but it's okay. No, it doesn't matter. We're, we could only fit one more farm anyway. Vegetables. Bam. Are we short? No, no, we've still got unemployment. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Good. Bow block online. <laughs> All right, Frostmorn burnt down a bit. Yeah, let's just keep that going. Okay. Would you look at that? Uh, meanwhile, we probably, with all the money we have, let's do something productive. Uh, warehouse. Oh, we did actually feed this block. No fountain access yet. How do I want to do this? I could. If I move series. And Neptune. Over. Clear that. Shift an engineer's post over for efficiency. Clear that. Have... Warehouse? Warehouse. I could have this a pottery production area. We can import clay as well. And we can just start importing pottery and clay. Import, yes. Import, yes. And just start to set up a couple workshops for pottery. Probably more efficient if I just converted those to pottery workshops. Look at that! We've got pottery going! Fairby has a point. Uh, the farms in the boat block. You can put the prefecture at the tip of the road and the engineer by the shore and the farms would work. Oh! That would actually work! Yes, that's a very good idea. We can put the prefecture there and the engineer's post there. Making room for one more farm. Farm vegetables. Look at that, efficiency. Now, just imagine this farm road here as the mount hanging the bow to a wall, okay? Look. <laughs> Weapon blocks are not very efficient. We, we, gotta, we gotta do a few things here. My money will evaporate. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be fine. I think it will be fine. Uh, do we have unemployment? No employment problems. Okay, we are starting to feed this area. All oh, right, we need to stockpile weapons. Let's stockpile that. How's our military look? Oh, our military is looking good though. Look at that. Let's stockpile some weapons. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what do these need? Too little entertainment. Yeah, we're gonna need a few. If I put a theater there. And an actor column here. Well 
and the theater guy will walk down that way. We'll also need a school, which we can put right there. Looks like we're starting to feed this area, which will bring in the people we need to expand industries further. There's pottery coming in. Okay. Yeah, pottery is expensive, isn't it? I probably should start pacifying the natives so they buy my stuff. Are we overproducing on everything? I think oh. No, 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 no. I hate how Caesar 3 does this. Do, do I have others? I do have other storage yards, don't I? Okay, when you open up trade routes, it adds the resource to the storage yard uh, list. How did... Oh, did we actually get some pottery over here? <laughs> we totally got some pottery over here. Okay. Um, well... Looks like we need more fruit farms. I think this will max out how much population we can just support. You know, we can just put more fruit farms here. Isn't it? No harm. Yeah, that, that works. Okay, so we have some clay, unfortunately. Yeah. If I can set this to getting that clay, can we get? Can we combine this clay, please? Okay. Set that back to not accepting. And then we can set this temporarily to go get that clay. Yeah. Okay. Then we can have a warehouse right here. No, no, it'll need to be between these two blocks, right? Ah, uh, indigenous people. Okay, where? Here? Okay. Not a problem, we do have plenty of soldiers. Okay, no so. Let's try to make sure they don't go anywhere they're really not supposed to. And let's not upset the natives. <laughs> okay. So these are some natives. Oh yeah, they do look like... Yeah, it says that they're an Egyptian soldier. Are we actually in Egypt? Is this considered part of Egypt at this time? I can't... I don't really know. We need another school, though. Okay, nothing too scary. How are the gods feeling? Mars is pleased. You know, let's throw another festival to Mars. The blessing could always make things a little bit easier. Now let's lure them to where they need to come. Oh, they're fast. Increased trading of oil. Okay. Okay, run back, run back. They're a little faster than I thought. <laughs> okay, let's wait for the legionnaires to, to get in position. Okay, here they come. Ooh, just in time for the legionnaires. Um, 
guys need to come back a bit, actually. Wait, move! Come on. You guys need to engage here. Okay, we did it. We got it. Okay. The only thing scary about them is their speed. Did we lose anything? No, I don't think we lost anything. Alright, pretty good. Uh, no access to any local religious facilities. Let's get Mars a little happier here. Yeah, we need some temples. Anything gonna burn down? No, I think we got enough prefectures, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Yeah, we need more fruit farms here, I think. That should help. What do these houses need? Clean water from a fountain. So we kind of need a reservoir there. Can I get this aqueduct over here? Yeah, that'll work. Thought it'd be a bit more complicated, but it's not. still good. Rats again? Jeez. Uh, but we have enough weapons to send off and there's the festival to Mars. All right, let's go ahead and send off those weapons. Dispatch, yes, let's stop stockpiling those. Uh, also, uh, the trade route decided to trade more oil, right? 40 units? Okay, that's, that's gonna help with our money situation. So to solve that, I'm going to need another Olive farm. Ooh, if I just notch. Oh, where's on fire now? Is it really always him? Hmm. It's a little unfortunate. Okay. You know, Frostmourne is not an efficient block design, just so you guys know. <laughs> Now, um, I wanted to put down another olive farm. But this gatehouse here and this road looks a little weird. Just out of curiosity, I can fit another one there. So that means I probably want to... Yeah, shift that. Put another olive farm here. Move the wine workshop. Shift the gatehouse to here. Do that. And replace the wine workshop to somewhere else. Yeah. And then... We don't need all of these houses. We can instead put oil workshops. Good. Because we can sell so much more oil. So the more oil workshops, the better. One house there would be a little bad. So let's do that. Let's clear that. We can fit one more oil workshop there. If we can max out our new oil exports, we can probably support this rate of... Uh... Are you actually getting... Oh, you can't get that clay? Oh, just set to accepting then. Okay, we've got plenty of pottery though, stocked up there which I will need to bring over this side when I'm ready. Our city is shot by 114 employees. Hmm. Maybe I overbuilt things a little bit. But to solve that, what I will do is I will... remove this farm, put a warehouse right here, set this to getting pottery. Okay. So we have a bit more of a centralized pottery distribution system. We're gonna put another warehouse over on this side. 
set this to getting pottery. And to stabilize employment, I'll have a house right there. Yes, that'll work. Yes, good. Okay. So we can start evolving these houses. These houses here, what do you need? Fountain? Oh, I wasn't done with this. One, two, three. Okay. Get rid of the wells. Garden it up a little bit. And these need entertainment. Theater. And we do have an actor colony already, so that's fine. And they will need a school. Right there. Perfect. So now with all of these houses evolving, we should be able to solve our employment problem. No problem. Uh, are we actually selling out on furniture? We are. We are selling out on furniture. So we're not bankrupt yet, interestingly enough. And we have, I think we've maxed out. Oh, we haven't maxed out. Oh, we're, right, we're just sort of sending a... Let's get rid of that. That's a horrible place to live. <laughs> Food over here seems to be ticking on up. 3,000 people, we're halfway towards our target population. Good. Um, now, what I'm curious is, will these caravans sell pottery directly into here, or will they maintain down here? Because I kind of want to try and keep things as centralized as possible. But if that's not going to be possible... Too sure. How's the food supply? We are keeping up on fruits, I think. Yeah, yeah. Fruit, fruits look okay. I'll give you guys a medium statue there. A few gardens and stuff. give you a well, you can evolve too. Okay. And I think I set this to getting fruit, because most of the fruit is stockpiling over there. Ah, there we go. These are now going up to small insulates, so we've got a bit of pottery in here. This guy should be, yeah, returning from a delivery. Yep, good, good. So, setting this granary to getting, we'll get more fruits over this side. We've got a lot of oil coming in. I can't... Can't stand that clay being there. We're gonna have to, gonna have to do something about that. Uh, can we provide fountain access here? Will that actually... Evolve that house? This might be nice. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Just give you guys some fountains. How's our employment? No employment problems. Look at that. I told you I'd solve it. <laughs> All right. So the first feeding of pottery is always going to be a little tricky. These guys do need a bathhouse. I forgot about that. Which we can just go ahead and place one there. One there. Two baths. Should be in range, right? Yeah. Okay, so that will evolve those. What do these need? Furniture, right? Yeah, these need furniture. These guys also need pottery. Yeah. Oh, there is pottery. No bath... I, why do I keep forgetting the bathhouses? I'm not too sure. Let's put one there. You know... For stability, I probably should have two bathhouses like that. Do these have pots in them? They do. Come on. Where's the bathhouse people? Do they both walk the wrong way?
Come on, they can't both be walking the wrong way. There we go. And then you need an amphitheater, right, right. Which we can. Just stick there. The gladiator will walk up that road. You know, I never I never let the houses sit at this sort of uh this range. Oh, those houses didn't expand. Let's just do that. This spot for a bazaar is a little wasteful. But Spirit of Mars, sounds good. Yeah, let's just try get an amphitheater going, get those houses evolved further. Uh, these guys? <clears throat> How did these get gladiator access and those didn't? Entertainment, amphitheater. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, there we go, there we go. Small insulins. Then desirability, yeah. Let's, you know, I think it's time to plaza up the shield. Bam. Shield is now plaza. Everything else is plaza here. Then let's plaza up the hook as well. Bam. The hook is plaza. We have some houses here too. Let's just plaza all of this up. Get those evolved. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Things are looking pretty good. We're actually almost at 4,000 people. Which is very nice. It is... Oh, it's February. Is that... I, I always forget to check. Our sales, but how's our money? Our money is uh, dwindling a little bit, but it, it's not bankrupt yet. It's not bankrupt yet, but uh, now that we're using pottery, things are a little scarier. Vegetable supply looks good. 8% unemployment. So overall pretty good, right? Overall pretty good. Mm -mm -mm. Bizarre, we're not in Egypt. I keep Look, I'm going between Pharaoh and Caesar 3. I keep saying warehouse, storage yard, or market, bazaar. It's so confusing. It's so hard to keep up. Mm. Ah. But before this part is over, I do want to finish drawing Frostmourne. Uh, because we really need this. And also, before I forget, we're going to need to make sure we don't actually... Oh, that's... That's some timing. First. Oh, it is here. Okay. Perfect timing. Let's make sure they don't just waltz into our city. Okay. Now, you guys. Let's get you all going. Oh, that looks good. Let's tighten up the formations. I don't think they're going to get there quite in time, but the wall should slow them down. Now, if I just wall this off right to the end... ...so they can't sneak through, right? This is a good wall to have. For aesthetics, I will push it to the end. Oh, the Egyptian soldiers are gonna kill the zebra. Poor zebra. Oh, we do have a blessing from Mars too, by the way. So that's gonna be good. Okay, will our legions get there on time? I don't know. Probably should start towering things up, right? The wall is so perfect, is it? Oh, it looks good, right? Marching our soldiers out there might be a little tricky. Oh, they're gonna start. Okay, that takes care of things a little bit. You know, just charge out there. I don't even know if I can get these guys out. Perhaps I should have a side entrance, right? Why aren't you going out there? 
They can't figure out a way out. Oh well, charge in there, come on. Yeah, make sure they don't bust through that wall, please. Any survivors? You might make it out. Ramses Hatshepsut. Oh, engaged with the javelin and died. No survivors. Did we lose a lot? Nah, we lost three legionnaires. <laughs> Look at that morale, extremely strong. Oh, we dropped a little bit. No, no, don't kill. No, don't leave him alone. We lost a bit of wall and three soldiers. Perfect. Perfect. Now, I wanted to finish. What was I doing before this? I fed up all these houses, right? Oh, I don't have a doctor here. By the way, what is our health rating? City health is good, so I actually don't want to put a doctor because if city health is too good, people live too long and you kind of want them to die first, right? Anyone over 50 doesn't work, so we need them to like just die off. See all, see all these people here? They're not working, we need them to die. So let's, let's not give those guys a doctor. <laughs> Efficiency. Did Egyptians really ride war camels? I'm pretty sure they did. They use camels as mounts, they should. Now, the blade for Frostmourne, we really need to get this going. So, it's asymmetrical, in case you didn't know. So, I'm gonna go ahead and have... Let's see. How do I depict this? It sort of comes out this way. Rats again, jeez. Ten wine. Ten wine. We can tax. We're not taxing people. Governor Julio. Good point. You guys can have that. Series destroys my crops. Are the gods really all that unhappy? Can we import marble anyway? You guys sell marble? Oh, they do. Okay, that would be handy. Let me just set that up. Let's just have... Where's marble? Wait, is that sell or buy? Sold marble. Z wait. Impressions games. I found, I found something that's not quite correct. <laughs> okay, we cannot import marble. Fine, fine, no problem. You know, let's just let's just get the gods happy. Spam some temples, Ceres, Neptune, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. And Mars is currently exalted. Neptune is gonna curse us next. Not too concerned about that. Now, wh what was I doing? I was drawing this spike. Right. So, it sort of comes up a little bit like this. And then it sort of has... And then it sort of curves down and out. Like that. Now, this is very difficult to depict, but... That kind of looks correct. Oh wait, what am I doing? This blade has no depth. <laughs> the core of the blade is gonna be about this size. That looks good. Let's just draw this all the way up. And then it sort of tapers off into a point. Look at that on the... That looks good! Maybe just taper it off a little earlier. Look at it on the map, by the way. Look at it on the map. That's where, where things... That's a little too soon. That's where things really sort of show off. Because it's sort of like looking at it from a distance. Ah, oh, guys, our boats! Our boats are gonna be in the bottom of the ocean. Oh, that sucks. What are we gonna do? 
I think I kind of liked it how it was just now. Now, this is a little weird. It's kind of just got spikes and hooks and stuff, which I don't know if I can accurately depict on this scale. <laughs> but it's very spiky down here. Look, that's the best I can do. <laughs> you know, think of it as just adding another bit of challenge to the map. By having random intersections. And then that sort of curves up like that. And then there's like another little spike here. good. And actually this center bit, it's a bunch of runes. So I'm just gonna draw random runes. What do you think? And you know what? They're runes. Guys, it's Frostmorn. Look, to, to really pull off these details, you need sort of a bigger scale. You need it to be like twice as big, right? You need it to be twice as big, but th this is the best we can do, okay? Maybe one more rune right at the end there. Bam. On the minimap, it looks pretty good. Yeah, see, on the minimap, it kind of it kind of communicates it on the minimap, right? Kind of. Let's hook that up. Yeah, yeah. See, I wish this this really needs to be a diagonal. You can't you can't really do it properly, but okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna just prep this for towers as well. That looks good. Okay, guys, we drew Frostmourne. <laughs> uh, what, I, what am I doing in this series? I don't know. I'm out of coffee, though. Okay. <laughs> you guys suggested Frostmourne, all right? Look, this bow and arrow block looks a lot better. Everything's looking okay, though. Yeah, everything's actually looking okay. Now we just need Shadow Moon next to it. Look, that, no, no more fancy blocks. I need a block for fancy housing. And there's a nice little open area right here. Guys, what is a relatively easy shape I can draw? That's a weapon that I can use for luxury housing. It can fit right here in the middle of the map. Maybe I st No, 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 I could never stick it like that. It's just... Could I fit luxury housing back here? A spear? A pistol? A posh pistol? Look, I... Posh pistol? Would that actually work? A morning star. A throwing a shuriken. Look, I can't I can't depict the shuriken very well. Trident. You know, it needs to be something roundish. You know, do I do a posh pistol? A posh pistol could work. <laughs> By the way, how's our employment? 9% unemployment. You know, let's let's deal with um Let's just sort of you know, Can I deal with this? You know, maybe I don't have to deal with it. A mace and axe. 
a scimitar, a boomerang. <laughs> you know, if I do a boomerang, it's just gonna look like a banana block again. But you know, posh pistol rhymes, so maybe. You know, I'm not very familiar with guns. Nice, simple block with 4x4 four four gaps. <laughs> I'm not even gunning. <laughs> Guys, that's actually a pretty functional block. Aside from the trigger, Can work. The the gun of the pistol is too wide. What here? Yeah, but four by four is gonna help with the housing. We're gonna need to do this for our luxury block. One, two, three, four. Okay. How many tiles do I have here? One, two, three, four. I just control this. Yeah. We could have four luxury palaces. Wait, can we get two types of We can get two types of wine, right? Can we get three types of food? We can get three types of food. So we can have luxury palaces, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. But we can't get oracles, interestingly enough. Strange. So we'll need to use large statues to boost desirability. All right, we're gonna have a posh pistol. We're gonna have a posh pistol just because it's an easy to work with block. Um, you know, I don't even know if we're gonna have to populate um, Frostmourne too much, but we'll see if we can actually get it working. The handle is currently being used for the pottery industry. Are people moving into this? Yeah. So let's go... You know, I'm just gonna plaza up the posh pistol immediately. Look at that. Oof. Plaza it up. Now, we're gonna need to be a little conservative with how things are here. Let's go make sure we have plenty of prefectures everywhere. Couple engineers posts. Yeah, and there's enough room around the sides for things like Colosseums, Hippodrome. You know, we could use Destination Walker on the Hippodrome. Actually, it does still fit. Look at that. We could. It doesn't clash with uh, with Frostmourne. I'm just really scared of things burning down. So I don't want anything going wrong with this. Point. Oh, I forgot to tax people. That's what I was forgetting to do. Guys, I forgot to tax. Oh, I'm taxing there, not taxing here. Make sure that's taxed. Oh, we are actually losing quite a bit of money there. If I just remember that I will always be taxing... We're gonna have one, two, three... Yeah. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So... <laughs> We've, gone, we've done quite a bit of progress here. We're basically at 4,000 people. 
Um, money is dropping, but I think as we start taxing more people, things will go a bit back up here. Yeah? Uh, oh, we're actually overproducing oil. Isn't that interesting? And not enough uh, olives, I guess? We're, we're no longer overproducing olives. Food here looks good. The bow block food looks good as well. So there's actually plenty of room to expand further. So what's left is basically to populate Frostmorn, maybe pacify the natives. Do you have to pacify all the natives to get them? Like if I just put a mission post right here and pacify the central building. If I pacify just this, do they start trading with us? Or do I have to pacify all of them? I really don't know. Because if I could get the natives to start trading with us, we should be able to solve our... Um, we should be able to solve... Oh, look at that! We just need... To, that's all you need to do? That's it? We just have to pacify that one? Well, alright! Look at that! Extra trade coming in! So, we gotta populate Frostmourne, uh, get the posh pistol, uh, into posh pistols, luxury palaces, probably four of them. Look at that. Ooh, they look really nice once that's done. But, uh, yeah. Go buy some oil and stuff. That'll be good. Oh, guys. I, I really, really do like how this is going. <laughs> I really do like it. All right, so that's going to be the end of part two for Damascus and the weapon blocks. So we've stuck mainly with medieval weapons, but you know, a posh pistol, that's not going to hurt us too bad. And that's just a nice little shape for us to have uh, 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 big luxury palaces. So we're going to be populating Frostmourne and getting up to luxury palaces in the next and probably final part. But until then, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for joining and I will see you in the next video.